Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome to another PyQD5 tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to make certain cells read only on a Qtable widget. So here's the, the exercise we'll be doing. In this window, I have a Qtable widget. And this table has five columns and five rows. And within this table, the first column and the second row is read only. If I try to type something in the second row, and I won't be able to type anything uh, in the cell. Same with the first column. So if I try to select a cell within the first column, and if I try to type something, because all the cells in the first column are read only, so I won't be able to type anything. If I select a cell that is not uh, within the first column in the, f in the second row, if I select column two on row number one, and within the cell, I can type anything I want. So I can type hello world, and so with the third row and second column. So hello world. And this is the feature we are going to learn in this video. All right, let me close this window. And I'm going to, first of all, import my libraries. And let me make the font size a little bit bigger. From the PyQt5.qt widgets module, I'll import QAppCation class, QTable widget, and QStyled item delegate. So we just need these three classes um, for this uh, exercise. And here I'm going to create my application instance. I'll create my uh, app demo instance. And I'm going to pass uh, QTable widgets as the parent class. And I'm going to resize the window to, let's do, uh, 1500 by 1500. And I also want to resize my column width and my row height. So let's set the, the table dimension to five by five. So we're going to have five rows and five columns. And here I'm going to insert loop and I'm going to iterate from uh, the value from zero to four. And here I can set the column width I'll provide the I value. And for the column width, I'll set that to 250. And for the row height, let's do uh, 100. And let's take a look. So I forgot to create my app demo instance. So I'll name the instance demo. And let's just launch the application to see what the table looks like. So here's our table and five columns and five rows. And let me close the window. All right, so to make some of the, the cells read only, I'm going to create a, a delegate uh, template. And I'll name this uh, delegate template, read only, delegate. And I'll pass the queue style item delegate class as the parent class. Inside the read only delegate class, we're going to reference the create editor uh, events. So this event is going to fire every time when we do something to a cell, when we assign a cell to a, a delegate property. And you will see in a second. And this create editor events has uh, three parameters, parents, option, and index. We're going to escape the operation by using the return statement. And here let me do this. I'll print a, so I'll print a message creator uh, creates editor events fire and here i want to create a read-only delegates object i'll name this object uh, delegate is equals to read-only delegate and we need to assign a parent which is self and within the q table widget class there's a method called set item delegates for row and this method has two parameters. The first parameter is the uh, is the row index. And since I want to set the second row as read only, so I'm going to assign the value of one. And I'll pass the delegates object. And I'll do the same for the column. So set item delegates for column. I'm going to set the first column as read only. So I'll send the value of zero. And I'll pass the delegate object. And that's it. Now if I launch the application, and here I have a 
typo. Let me double check. So set item delegates. Oh, this should be a uh, capital I. Now, if I try to uh, type something in sec in the second column in the second row, so which is uh, this row right here, if I type a uh, hello world, and you can see that every time when I try to type something, the create editor event will fire, and when the event fires, the return function the return statement is going to basically uh, exile the function, and it's not going to uh, do any additional uh, operation. So same with the column. So if I try to type something in the first column, let's do a uh, one four. If I try to type hello world, the create editor event will fire. So therefore, make that salary only. So this is everything I want to share in this video. And hopefully, you guys found the video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.